Now, my biggest losers for week five, I think the Bengals. This defense is piss poor, giving up 32 points a game. The Washington Commanders put up 30-some points on them. Baltimore Ravens put up 40 points on them to win. And if they could just get a sliver of help, Joe Burrow, he's playing at a high level. He's playing like one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. The Joe Burrow we know, that we've known that, you know, beat the Chiefs that went to the Super Bowl. This is the Joe Burrow we're getting right now. Jamar Chase too. He's looking like the receiver that was going toe to toe with Justin Jefferson in conversations for being the best receiver in the league. He had 193 yards receiving, two touchdowns, had a 70 yard touchdown. So Joe Burrow is playing at a high level. I know he had that interception late in the game, but Zach Taylor, how he's been managing these in-game decisions and how he's been managing the game, you know, over time, you get the ball back, Lamar Jackson fumbles, and you run the ball three straight times. You bet on your kicker to make a 53-yard field goal. You call a timeout. You iced your own kicker. That shit's fireable alone. That's a fireable excuse alone in itself. So, Zach Taylor, every year this Bengals team starts out slow. Is this a year where it finally catches up to them? I don't know. Joe Burrow, T. Higgins, Jamar Chase, they showed me enough like to not be surprised if they go on a run and make the playoffs. But defensively, they're so bad. I just don't know how. I mean, they're just so bad. If they don't get the ball to end the game every time, they're not going to win. They're, the other team is going to put up points on that defense every time. Um, and Dax Hill, he's hurt. He's feared to have a torn ACL. So that could be a big loss for them in their secondary because Cam Taylor Britt, he's been getting cooked. You need a guy like Dax Hill in that back end. Um, so the secondary could be worse. Um, pass rush, you know, it hasn't been pass rush. They haven't been getting after the quarterback that much. Sam Hubbard had a sack. But other than that, they really haven't been that much of a presence against teams. <laughs> so, and they've been getting gashed in the run game. So the Bengals, Joe Burrow, I trust in him. I trust in that offense. I don't know if that defense is good enough for them to overcome a 1-4 and four start. Zach Taylor, too. If this season goes down the drain, things don't go poorly, Zach Taylor, he's going to get fired. And I think it would be rightfully so. There's some really good teams in the AFC right now that could go on a run, but you got to face Baltimore again. The Steelers are frisky. So I, I don't know where the Bengals are going to stand at the end of this season. The Cleveland Browns are also another big loser for me this week. Deshaun Watson, it's clear he's not the quarterback for them for the future. If you didn't already know that, watching this team play. But I still think this team has a lot of things wrong with it. Coaching, Kevin Stefanski is a two-time coach of the year. But why, as a great coach, great offensive mind, why can't you find a way for this offense to work? Why can't you find a way for this offense to look somewhat competent? This offense can't score on anybody. You know, Joe Flacco, he looked great. Came off the couch. That offense was cooking. That offense went to the playoffs. Joe Flacco, same players on the offense. But now this year, Deshaun Watson, you can't get anything going with this offense. I do think Stefanski and Deshaun Watson aren't a good pair together. But that offense line, you get rid of Deshaun Watson, you have Jameis Winston or DTR have to deal with getting sacked seven times. Have to deal with the receivers dropping the ball. The receivers are still dropping the ball. Um, it's hitting them in the chest. You have a holding penalty that stopped you from, you know, winning the game against the Raiders, really. Uh, a lot of mistakes that this team is... I mean, Deshaun Watson, people want to say he walked off the field, but you had 12 people on the field. Still. So, there's just a lot of shit wrong with this Browns team, this Browns offense. There's just a lot of things. You can't put it on one person. This team looks like the worst team in the NFL, and that's just not off their quarterback. Deshaun Watson's had some games where he looked decent, but it, it's just been receivers dropping the ball, him getting sacked seven times, uh, Micah Parsons against the Cowboys lived in the backfield, so there's a lot wrong with this team. I definitely think, yeah, Deshaun Watson's still not their guy. I don't think this team's really bought into him. You see him getting into arguments with the offensive line, um, receivers dropping the ball, all the stuff that's happening. Just the chemistry is not there with this team. And whatever way you got to move on from him in the offseason, make it happen. Because right now you have the fifth pick in the draft. Um, you're probably looking at a Shador Sanders, Cam Ward maybe. That would be interesting. Cam Ward, he, he could bring some life to Cleveland. Shador Sanders is a really fantastic pocket passer. Elite pocket awareness, has great touch on the ball, can make every throw. I would like one of those quarterbacks in Cleveland. I wouldn't mind that. With Jerry Judy, Elijah Moore, Nick Chubb. I don't know. Maybe Stefanski could work with those guys. But 
at the very least, somebody's got to go down for this season. So maybe Andrew Barry, maybe you can him. Because maybe Stefanski's just not in on this guy. Maybe he's just never been in on Deshaun Watson being his quarterback. And that's why it's looking how it's looking. Because it looks like something's just off between those two. The chemistry between the quarterback and the coach is not there. Um, and obviously, if general manager Andrew Barry's like, we got to make this shit work. We got to, he's on Stefanski's ass about making this work. That's why, you know, Stefanski said Deshaun Watson is still the starting quarterback, you know. Um, there, there could be conflicts with that too, but, uh, Jameis Winston, DTR, I would want to see one of those quarterbacks get in soon. Um, because what do you have to lose? Jameis Winston, at least guys could fuck with him. At least guys could buy into him as a leader. He's funny as fuck. He has some of the funniest speeches, but I think the team would buy in a little more to him than Deshaun because it seems like Deshaun's, Deshaun's body language looks bad. The defensive player's body language looks bad. So I think putting Jameis Winston could maybe spark something, but either way, the season's dead for this team. Uh, defensively too, the Browns defense is not what it was last year. Besides their linebacker play from Jock, um, Denzel Ward, Miles Garrett, those are the only players that have been really good defensively for this Browns team. It seems like they took a step back. Um, giving up 30 points to the Commanders, 36 points or 34 points, and the performance against the Cowboys, they shit the bet against them. It just seems like this team as a whole has just taken a step back. This is a team that should have been a playoff contender this year uh, with all the pieces with everybody healthy, but this is a team that's competing with the Carolina Panthers and the Giants of the worst team in the NFL. So change is coming, hopefully. We've seen Russell Wilson, you know, the Broncos, that situation, all the stuff that happened with that. They still have some life a year after with Bo Nix. They're three and two. So, I mean, the Browns, this is a young team that still has a lot of great pieces on this roster. Miles Garrett, you have him paid. You have Jock paid, the linebacker. Deadz Awards paid. Uh, Judy's paid. You have some talent on this roster. You could salvage this team. You just, Andrew Barry, you probably got to get fired. Stefanski, I think, is a good coach still. You could keep him or you could fire him. I don't know. Something needs, some kind of change needs to happen with this Browns team. This team is cooked. Some people thought the NFC North was going to be the worst division in football this season. They thought it was going to be as bad as the NFC South.